What's up everybody, welcome to Rotor Riot Workbench. I'm Les Flair C, and today I'm going to show you the steps you'll need to follow to set up your Radio Master Boxer Radio and get it ready to bind to your drone. If you purchased one of our Bind and Fly drones from the Rotor Riot store, or if you're following along with one of our build videos and you have our pre-configured pre-tuned dump file for your flight controller, we have a pre-configured setup file for your Radio Master Boxer Radio to make it really easy to get started. The Radio Master Boxer Radio comes in two different configurations. It can come with an internal ELRS module or it can come with an internal 4-in-1 module. Radio Master radios typically have an internal module and an external port on the back so that you can put an external module of your choice in the back of the radio. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to set up the Radio Master Boxer with a 4-in-1 built-in module. In the box, you'll find your Radio Master Boxer radio, your battery holder, the Quick Start Guide Owner's Manual, and a sticker sheet. One more important thing you'll need for your radio is a pair of 18650 batteries, and we have them available in the Rotor Riot store. You'll notice there are two USB ports on this radio. One on the bottom, which is only used for charging, and one on the top, which is used for plugging into the computer for firmware updates and playing on the simulator. Be sure that if you need to connect to the computer, you use the top port. The first step in setting up this radio is to install the batteries. Be sure to install them in the correct orientation to prevent frying the radio. The positive and negative are labeled on this battery, and the smaller circle side is positive, just like a AA battery. But if you purchase your battery somewhere else, just be sure to know which side is positive and negative. On the Radio Master Boxer radio, the battery holder might be located inside of the battery compartment. To open the battery compartment, simply push on the release tab and slide it backwards and off. If your battery holder is connected to the radio, unplug it to make it easier to install the batteries. Then when inserting the batteries, be sure to insert them with the negative side towards the spring. Just slide them in and press in place, just like that. Now that your batteries are installed into their holder, we can go ahead and plug the connector back into the radio. Be sure to put it in in the correct orientation. There are two tabs on the top of this connector that line up to the two slots in the top of this connector. If you've inserted it properly, the red lead should be on the bottom. Be sure that the wires won't get pinched when sliding the cover back on. Now take your battery bay cover and place it on the back like this and slide forward until it clicks in place. Be sure that the bottom lines up flush with the back of the radio. With the batteries installed and the cover back in place, now we're going to power up the radio for the first time. Press and hold the power button until all four squares show up on the screen and then release. If you see throttle warning, lower the throttle stick all the way down to clear the warning. If you see switch warning, flip all four switches to the farthest position forward or away from you to clear the warning. Also be sure that this push button is in the outward position. Now it's time to install the custom models. You can find a link in the description to all of the files and resources you will need for this radio. Download the Radio Master Boxer models that are linked in the description and save them to a folder on your computer. Be sure that you choose either the 4-in-1 or the ELRS model depending on which radio you purchased. Next, take a USB-C cable and plug it into the top of the radio to the USB-C port and plug the other end into your computer. Once the USB-C port has been plugged into your radio, you'll see three different options to choose from. USB joystick for playing simulator, USB storage, and USB serial. We're going to select USB storage so that it will connect to our computer and we can place the files that are needed on the internal SD card. Use the scroll wheel to rotate down to USB storage and press in on the scroll wheel to select. Once you have plugged in your USB port and selected USB storage, you should see two drives pop up in Windows File Explorer or Finder on a Mac. I'm going to show you how to do this on Windows. We want to select the USB drive rather than the boxer drive because the USB drive is going to give us access to the internal SD card. Next, open the Boxer Models folder that you downloaded to your computer and copy and paste these files into the USB drive models folder. Before copying these files into the models folder of the Boxer radio, you may want to save a copy of the models that came factory with your Boxer radio. If so, save these to a folder on your computer. In my case, I'm just going to delete them because I don't have any use for these files. Now copy and paste the models that you downloaded into the models folder. If you have a pop-up window that says, are you sure you want to copy this file without its properties? Go ahead and click yes and do this for all current items. Now that we have the models copied to the radio's SD card, we can unplug the USB port. Now that the models have been installed, we should be able to press the model key and see all of the models that are currently on the radio. At the time of the recording of this video, we've included five different radio models for the four in one version. RXSR, SPI-based receivers, Ghost, ELRS, and Crossfire. INT in the model name means that the model uses the internal module, and EXT models will require an external module in order to use them. You'll need to choose the model that corresponds to the receiver your drone has installed. To change models, rotate the scroll wheel to highlight the model name and press in on the scroll wheel to select. 
Press in on the scroll wheel one more time to select a model. The star moves to the selected model to show which model you're currently using. Press return to exit the menu. The final step in setting up your radio is binding it to the receiver on the drone. I will have separate videos for each of the radio protocols to show you their individual binding processes. I will add their links to the description as they are recorded. Thanks for watching guys. Let us know in the comments which drone you're hooking your boxer radio to. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe so you don't miss more videos like this. I'm Let's Fly RC, and we'll see you next time on Rotor Riot Workbench. <laughs>